What's up, Simonics? Welcome back to our famous app review. Today, we're gonna inspect three more great applications, which are really interesting. The first application will be a little game. The second application, a list that is also popular on Product Hunt. And the third one, a French application. And I don't know a thing about French. Really interesting applications. Looking forward to them. Let's see how and what we can learn from them. First step of the day is called Math Rush, Train Your Brain. No ads, sounds great, got a lot of good reviews, so let's check it out. I got it on my Android device. Uh, if the UI looks a bit bad in here, it's actually because I don't know why the mirroring of my phone to my device, uh, to my Mac isn't that good. Perhaps I just need a new device. Anyway, let's get started. I like that the introduction screen is so clear and uh, puts me right into the action. Uh, let's go with English for today. Okay, this screen looks... Um, I don't really like the drop shadow on the icons. It's a bit too hard, I would say. So let's try level, normal, uh, two minutes. I'm actually in English, so not sure why there were two minutos. Um, let's do all modes or let's try this one. Okay, that's to switch the language to go to dark mode. Okay, that's nice. Uh, my statistics are, well, I would perhaps fix this to not show none with the JavaScript. And also this icon, this is actually not a problem of my display, it really looks like this in reality. <laughs> so, um, Giovanni, I think you did a great job with creating a nice animation right here. Um, but some of the logos could need a bit more love. Let's play this game. I don't have a record, so let's start. And I really like that this is actually a game with JavaScript and Ionic. Um, two, uh, what? Two, two. yeah, two. What I like about this application is really a great usage of animations. So we don't see that uh, that often and I think especially in games users expect a lot of animations and little triggers here and there. So this um, icon right here is great. We got a new record uh, with this uh, bounce animation from Animate.js probably even. Um, and for the dark mode I think the dark mode might need a bit more love because the, this is nah, not superb uh, for a dark mode, I would say. But otherwise, uh, the game is pretty clear and I kind of like most about it. So I get back to the menu. Oh yeah, here I can of course change the menu. So let's try the hard mode and let's see if I can beat the hard mode. I'm not sure uh, about which uh, age we talk with this application. So although this is the hard mode, it's not really hard. I don't know at which level in the school you teach this. Okay, now it gets actually a bit more complicated, but I assume this, uh, this is, uh, well, whatever. And uh, I, uh, oh, divide, oh yeah. Okay, well, that is, that is a bit more tricky right now. So let's just assume it's this, no, it wasn't. Anyway, I think this is really a great example of how you can build a simple game. In the past, I also thought about creating a little game with Ionic, so, I like the App Store appearance, uh, the uh, screens are pretty clear, the general idea of the application is cool, perhaps add some more modes, um, perhaps some different levels. Just discovered this, there's actually a two player mode, so uh, you can compete against each other by putting this device on, uh, on the table. So really, this app deserves a lot more love. If you got Android, check it out, Mad Rush. Um, perhaps it's even made for kids, I'm not sure or to, to help them, but I think it's a really funny, simple game and a lot of the UI is pretty clear, so that's what I really like about this. Second app of the day is called ConfList. Um, I think this is actually a list for uh, tech conferences and once you scroll down here, I also saw the website of the developer, so ConfList.in. Uh, pretty clear uh, website, so Aniket Kudale, kudos to you. Um, good job on creating this application. I also saw that it's live on Product Hunt and got quite a few upvotes here. So let's check it out. I can browse conferences by country or by technology. Pretty clear, clear screen, not sure why I can scroll though, so I think it should normally fit the whole screen. Perhaps also a primary color might make sense. The whole application seems to be in black and white, but uh, well, a bit of colors are is not wrong. 
So here we go by countries. Let's pick Germany, but there's already a zero, so I guess they're. Ah, okay, so it looks like the API was loading, but I couldn't see it loading. So here in Germany, a conference list, I, or I guess the application is loading, but there's no loading screen. So if you perform any kind of a loading operation in your app, and I'm really not sure why it's not displaying anything, I think you should either display something like what you saw, a quick loading uh, indicator, or at least some sort of um, you know, skeleton view, which you might have seen in uh, Ionic applications as a component, or in general, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everyone's using these skeleton components. Besides that, I really like uh, the the big capital letter, uh, which makes it pretty easy to scroll through this list and find your own country. Perhaps just a little search bar up here would be great as well uh, to search for a specific country, but that's on another screen, but I think this also could be on that screen. Here we are on the search screen uh, with all the relevant information to a few conferences. Let's select this one, can I somehow open it? No, it looks like I can't, but I can hard it. And I have immediately hard favorite all these. Um, I guess they are perhaps in a category, but it's not really clear to me why something happens. So if the user performs an operation and something else happens, like in this case, I wanna put a heart on this one card and I get a heart in all these places, I really lost why this happens. And I as a developer can explain it. Developers, developers, developers. Perhaps there's a category for because it's all dev fest, but for other users that might be really something um, strange. So from the card I can open all the information like the Twitter and the uh, website for a conference and uh, for whatever reason, the back button is down here. I haven't seen it in that position. I kind of think actually that it's cool because my thumb is in that position, so it's easy for me to navigate back. But usually you get like a header bar and, but, and there's more like an action button. But it works kind of good and it's actually pretty relaxing to use it down there. So my recommendations would be number one, perhaps still add a little primary color just for a little accent in the application. The black and white is cool in itself, but I think a primary color would work great as well. Second is put the search and filtering right in this list. We don't really need the, the search in here with all the uh, cards. I think it would also work great if I could just have one big list which I can search for uh, the location, the conference name, perhaps even the time frame. So really a filtering in there. Favorites and all of the rest is great in the application. I really enjoy it. So if you want to bookmark or check out conferences around you, um, give ConfList a try. I liked it a lot. Um, just make sure, uh, target it now to the developer, that the lists are actually displaying data once I navigate into it. Application number three is called Diet Motive. And here we might actually encounter a little problem since I feel like this application is only in French and I know a bit about, about Spanish, but once I'm in France, I'm completely lost. I will do my best to inspect this application. I like the introduction screen, although I have no idea what it says. Um, I don't really like that you can scroll on these kind of uh, screens because um, you don't really have to and you I think you can disable this for iOS as well, so not every screen is scrollable. I guess I'm here on the login and uh, sign up screen and I can switch between them with a little slide animation, but I think I, I'm not able to, or I'm kinda able to swipe back, but it's not really like a slide in itself, it's more like catching the gesture, but it's feel, it doesn't really feel native. From my linguistic skills, I guess this is right, and I'm male, so I kinda like this to... Uh, I will just pick random data for now and use the default data. So, suivant. All right, I'm kinda signed in, so petit coup de po po. I really, I have no idea about French. Um, I guess it's about uh, notifications, so let's just allow them and continue. Bienvenue, Simon. So there was a dialogue to uh, answer some questions, which I think is a great way uh, as an introduction. So the flow from the login sign up through setting up your profile in the application was really great for new users. I think they also have a website, so this is just one of the outlets. I actually feel this is a bit out of place. The rest of the app looks super cool, but this error here doesn't look good to me, I just don't know why. Otherwise, I think uh, these rounded elements are pretty cool. Someone or the creator of this application certainly was aware 
that the UI of this app was important. So we got a tab bar, which is kind of like sliding tabs or actually displays an animation once I switch the tabs, but it's not really like I can slide with my fingers. So I just click on the next tab and it slides in. So it has kind of animation, which is nice. So on the more Kani screen, I got this huge input, which I it looks like I can infinitely scroll. I really don't know why there's such a why there's such a huge box. I think this could just be in text area with auto grow, and this is really strange. Besides that, I really like the icons and the colors used in this application. There's really a concept with this kind of teal color and a bit of yellow and a bit of orange for uh, some some elements. In here you see what I also said in a lot of the other reviews. I really like if these elements have more padding. I don't like it when text is so 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 crumbed in these elements that it almost reaches the top and the bottom of the element. This screen is pretty great once again with the colors and the animations. So I guess this is in general an uh, application to have a diet or do more exercise, help you on that journey. Actually this application plays a lot with different animations. So we got the slide animation in the tabs. Once you click something here, you move up. Uh, then I want to close it and another thing pops up. While I think having these kind of animations is a great way to make the app feel more native or interactive, I also think that at some point it might be a bit too much. So now I'm sliding up and I'm sliding up again and then I'm sliding down. So I really kind of get a bit confused about all of these animations. In this screen you also see something I noticed in the past. So this color on this teal background doesn't really work. Uh, that's just not going to work. Overall, this application looks pretty cool to me. It's also available on the App Store and as far as I know they also have a website. So it seems to be a French uh, diet application. The UI is really great. There are a lot of animations in here. Um, the designer of this application made a great job. There are just a few things with a bit of padding here and there, different colors and perhaps at some point too many uh, animations that can in the end just confuse the user. So I'm left, right, up, down. I'm really, you know, I'm really a bit confused at some point. But besides that, Great look, great UI, a great introduction with the questions and a great application. This episode of the App Review was powered by App Store Kit. If you're looking for a way to easily create your App Store preview images with a nice frame around your screenshots and some text and now also gradient backgrounds and background images and a lot of more options, check out appstorekit.com, which is actually my tool to help you build great apps. What did we learn today? Well, first of all, you can also create uh, games with Ionic. Second, some small animations can really spice up your application and make it more appealing and interesting. If you uh, don't test your application, you will have empty lists. And also, you should use something like loading indicators and skeleton views to improve the perceived performance of your application. I really enjoyed uh, reviewing today's applications because I think the mass game was pretty funny, a really useful tool to learn actually, or to play with your friends. The second tool was a great addition uh, if it works correctly for showing conferences and keeping track of them. And the third tool is of course a huge platform for diets. So uh, a really well-designed application in general. If you want to support the creators, go check out the links to the apps below. If you need some screenshots for your next application, go check out App Store Kit. And if you want to learn how to build apps, check out the Ionic Academy. I hope you have a great successful week of building cool apps and I will catch you next week like always. So happy coding, Simon.